Hi friends, welcome back. I'm Elaine and I'm living with autoimmune disease. And today I thought we would do a what's in my bag infusion backpack edition. At my last infusion of Rituxan, which if you haven't seen that video, I'll link it down below. I said maybe I was thinking of doing a what's in my bag video because I get a lot of questions about what should I bring to an infusion. So I thought we would dive into it and see what's in there. First off, I bring a backpack. So it's a average size, school size backpack. Uh, this is the Marc Jacobs backpack. Wondering if this is a good bag for infusion. My first review of it is I hate the zipper. So I would probably get something that's a little more zipper friendly. The teeth on this bag, it's like really fierce. If you guys can see this, it, um, it bites you when you're trying to get into it. So my backpack has a couple of zippers. Let's start with the front leg down here. Down there, I keep a pin. I bring a pin in case I need to sign anything. They'll have a pin for you just in case you don't bring a pin. Also in this part of my backpack, I keep all my little electronic cord thingies. So I bring my AirPods because when we dive into here, I will let you know that my iPad and my phone are in here. I do bring my AirPods so I can listen to movies. Listen to movies? Watch movies. <laughs> Watch movies, make phone calls, listen to music, listen to podcasts, AirPods. But I bring a spare uh, of wired earphones for my phone just in case I have a problem with my AirPods or they lose their charge. I'll have a backup pair of earbuds for that. Also, I bring a phone charger and I would strongly, strongly suggest that you bring a phone charger with you to infusion to the hospital. There's plenty of places to plug in your phone at the hospital in an infusion center in case you need to do that. So that's in there. And that takes care of the bottom zipper. All right, getting into the like bigger zipper of the front here. I bring socks. These are my Jack Skellington socks because to me, every day is Halloween. I bring a pair of socks so I can put them on when my feet get cold. And here I also have my EpiPen. In the case of a allergic reaction during infusion, don't worry, they got you. But I always have to have my EpiPen on me. And so I keep my EpiPen in my backpack. I bring my phone. You are able to make quiet calls in the infusion center so you can make phone calls. Uh, I listen to music off of my phone. I currently have a book on tape or a book on audio or audiobook. What is it? Audiobook. I have that on my phone right now too. I'm reading Dave Grohl's book. I also bring playing cards. And the reason why we bring playing cards is my husband and I sometimes get pretty bored and I would just want to do something mindless. These are just playing cards from a casino that we've had forever, so we bring those to occupy the time. I also keep my Purell in this front zipper part so that if I need to sanitize. Am I the only person that likes to sanitize after they put the pull socks thing on your finger? They pretty much wipe everything else down, but I must be a germaphobe because the pull socks thing kind of like creeps me out a bit. It's been on everybody's index finger and I've never seen them wipe it down. So anyway, I peer on myself after that because I always check your pull socks at uh, Infusion. All right, that's everything in the front zipper. Now we're gonna dive into the big zipper. I bring a bottle of water. I like to always have water with me. They will provide you water at the infusion center should you get thirsty and you need it. I bring Gatorade as well. Uh, I take medicine that I have to mix with Gatorade to eat. We are at infusion center for nearly seven hours, eight hours sometimes. And so I have lunch at the infusion center. So I need Gatorade to mix my medicine with. 
I bring pretzels. I have a recent diagnosis of dysautonomia, which means I need to have a salty snack with me at all times. Also, I just really like pretzels and I find that they're easy to eat during infusions. And so I bring a bag of pretzels with me. And on that line, I also bring a bagel. I have to get to the hospital really early for infusion, which means that I don't eat breakfast. And so in order to not get too hungry during infusion, because they do infuse some steroids with my fusion, which make me very hungry, I bring a bagel for breakfast. Now, you have to bring food to your infusion. That's up to you. Uh, my infusion, like I said, is about seven hours and my facility provides lunch. Not all facilities provide a meal to you. So I don't have to pack a lunch to bring with us. If your facility does not provide food to you, you probably wanna pack yourself some snacks. It's not rude to ask your infusion center if they provide you snacks or meals during a long infusion. When you're scheduling, you should ask how long your infusion is, if it's around lunchtime, if they provide a meal. If not, bring something with you. You can pick up like drive through on your way there. Uh, I've actually seen people like DoorDash food to the infusion center. I guess it's doable. I've never done it. Also, in my bag, I bring a magazine. I like to sometimes just take a break from electronics and flip through a magazine and read it. Uh, I love HGTV magazine. Uh, I don't know why, but everything in here is just perfect and I want my house to look like this. I also usually grab some kind of trashy magazines at the grocery store. I forgot to this time. I like celebrity gossip stuff. Am I the only person that likes that stuff? Do you guys like that stuff too? Also, I bring my iPad. I watch movies while I am being infused, so I always make sure to charge my iPad the night before. I like rom-com movies. Anyway, iPad. Also in here is my wallet. I have everything I need in here. Uh, I think if you haven't seen my What's in My Bag video, which is a really old video, um, I know a lot of you found me that way, but my what's in my bag video goes over like what's in my purse. I'm trying not to flash you all my private information. I keep a list of my medications in my wallet, which is also super helpful during infusion because they will go over your medication list with you to make sure that they know everything that you're taking when you're getting infused. Also in here, I bring medication. I told you I have to go to the hospital pretty early. So I miss breakfast, which means I also miss some of my breakfast medication, the stuff that I take with my first meal of the day. So I'm able to take my cell set before I go to the hospital, but some of the other stuff that I need to take with food, I miss that. So I just throw it in a Ziploc bag. I also have medication I need to take in the afternoon and I bring that with me. You don't have to bring the whole bottle. I'm just lazy and I don't wanna take it out of the bottle and put it in something else. So it's easier for me just to put it in a bag. I'm lazy. You can take it out of the bottle. You can put it in whatever you want to. Just remember the medication that you're gonna take throughout the day and any medication that is during infusion. Do let your nurse know when you are taking medications that aren't being given to you by them. Uh, they will supply you with things like Tylenol, anything like that you need. If you start to feel nauseous, they'll give you nausea medication. I'm talking about like your routine medication. So anything routine, bring with you and then don't forget to tell them like, hey, I just took my Omeprazole or hey, I just took my prednisone for the day. And on that lines, I bring my bag full of drugs. Uh, in my bag full of drugs, I have my medication that I told you that I needed to take when I eat. I have malabsorption, so I need to take cholesterol with my meals. So I have that in here. I have lactates because I'm lactose intolerant. I also have um, like feminine hygiene products in here. Yeah, my bag full of drugs is in here and that has all my medications in it. Also in here, I keep extra masks. My hospital still requires a mask when you are being infused. So I bring extra masks because let me tell you, when you are at the hospital for seven hours, your mask, if it's paper, is gonna get gunky. You are gonna wanna change it. So I change out my mask every couple hours, every three hours. Also in here, I keep a large Ziploc. I have dysmotility and acid reflux. 
and so sometimes um, I throw up. <laughs> so uh, I carry a gallon size Ziploc with me at all times just in case. That is probably TMI, but that is my hack. And the very last thing in my backpack is my little Sephora bag, my little travel bag. Now in here, there's a lot of stuff. So in here, I put Clorox wipes. Do you need Clorox wipes at the hospital? No, I use them for carts at the grocery store. They're kind of just already in here. And like I said, I'm lazy, I didn't take them out. Do I need them at the hospital? Probably not. Um, but they're in my bag. Also in here, I have Purell wipes because sometimes I don't like using this Purell. Uh, so I just want to use the wipes. Uh, I might have too many cleaning products, but anyway, uh, blotting paper. It's really not a fashion show at the infusion center, but like I told you, I'm just lazy and this is the bag from my purse. Uh, so I have blotting paper. Um, but I don't wear makeup to the infusion center, so, uh, you probably don't need blotting paper in your bag. That's just kind of there. But you do need lotion. Uh, I bring lotion with me to infusion because my hands get really dry. I'm not quite sure what it is about the hospital, but my hands are always dry there. And Kleenex, because sometimes my nose runs. Oftentimes when I get cold, my nose runs, so I bring Kleenex with me. Uh, a mirror, no particular reason why I have a mirror. Uh, it's not a fashion show, so you're not gonna be looking at yourself. But like I said, I'm lazy, didn't pull it out. Uh, but I do use my lip gloss when I'm there. Even though I have a mask on, my lips do get dry. This is my current favorite lip gloss. It is It Cosmetics and I, Sephora was out of stock of it forever. So when it came back into stock, I bought a ton of them. So I don't even know if Sephora has it anymore, actually. I I seriously bought like four. So I've been on this one for a while. This is my favorite lip gloss, It Cosmetics. Do you have a favorite lip gloss or is it just me? And that's it. So that's what's in my bag when I go to Infusion. And I think that covered everything. You guys bring anything different that I don't have in my bag i'm kind of curious because maybe i'm missing something i think i over prepare a lot but if i'm missing something let me know if there's something you bring that i don't and maybe we could all benefit from it oh there's one more thing grabbing it it's not in my bag i bring it separate but i bring a big comfy sweater which i'm all confused about right now but i bring a big comfy sweater do you need to bring a big comfy sweater to your infusion or something to cover up? No, they have blankets there. So don't worry if you don't bring a sweater and you get cold, just ask the nurse, they'll bring you a blanket. I just like to have my own big comfy sweater to put over me, around me, when I'm there. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. I know it was kind of a fun video. Hopefully you guys had fun looking in my bag and hopefully you got some ideas. For and if there's any specific videos you guys are interested in and would like me to film for you, please let me know in the comments down below. I do read your comments. I'm a little bit behind in getting back to everybody, uh, but I do see them all and I do read them all. If you haven't yet subscribed and you would like to come along on my adventure, I would love to have you. My adventure is sometimes fun and sometimes medical, but it's always some kind of an adventure. So if you wanna come along, hit the subscribe button. More friends, the more better. And until my next adventure, go have yours.